Hello, St. Joseph. I'm here in the sacristy where the priests and the ministers of the Mass prepare for the Mass. And here is the closet in the sacristy inside the church, and it has the various things that are needed by priests and deacons for vestments. And why do priests need vestments? Well, priests need vestments because what we are doing is we are preparing to celebrate Mass. And Mass is truly heaven and earth collide at the Mass. And so priests are asked to wear vestments because it is something otherworldly. And we are to cover all of our regular clothes. Even though we wear very distinct clothes, during the celebration of the Holy Liturgy, uh, what we see here is that all of our regular clothes need to be covered. And so we have here, what we're going to do is just going to explain two pieces of the liturgical attire that priests wear. The first piece it may, may be used at some times. Okay, now this is called an amos. This is not worn by all priests, but priests that have a different style of alb, if it's not covering the entire portion of the shirt, priests will need to wear an, al or an amos. And so I usually will wear an amos because my alb doesn't cover the entire part of the upper part of the shirt. So what this is, it goes around the neck, gets tied in around the collar, and it gets wrapped around the stomach and around the waist. It gets tied around the waist here. And so this is called an amos, all right? It's really to collect a lot of the sweat that's around the that's around the neck, but it's also to protect the alb and the uh, chasuble, which are more expensive so that they don't uh, get ruined with all the sweat on it. But that's the practical nature of the amos. But the spiritual aspect of the amos is to have a protection like a helmet around the neck to combat the assaults of the devil, okay? And with every piece of uh, cloth or vestment that is put on, there is a prayer that the priest prays as he puts on each piece of his liturgical attire, really. So this is an amos, and this goes on before the alb. And as you see here, the alb would only cover a part of it. Father Reddick has an alb that covers the entire shirt and collar. So he would not need an amos, and a lot of times he doesn't use an amos. Before 1972, an amos was absolutely necessary. Now it's optional. Okay, so I will be putting on next an alb. An alb is an outer garment that covers the entire length of the priest and it's used as a baptismal garment. You know, whenever babies or adults are baptized, a lot of times, especially during the early church, the first, four, the first four centuries, a white garment was given to them as a sign of their purity in Christ, that they had been clothed in Christ. And so, usually, there will be a, a white garment that is given to babies and adults once they are baptized. It's showing their baptismal dignity. And so, priests will wear uh, an alb because of their 
baptism, that they are a son of the Father. And we will see extraordinary ministers and altar servers will also wear albs because anybody who is baptized can wear an alb as a sign of their Christian baptism. Okay? But that's why the priest will wear an alb as a sign of his baptism. And you can... We see here that the amice covers the upper part of my shirt that the alb doesn't cover. Okay? So these are the first two pieces of liturgical attire that I wanted to show you this week. And next week we'll talk about the cincture, the stole, and the chasuble. Okay? Thank you so very much. May God bless you. May God bless our parish of St. Joseph. We look forward to seeing you this weekend at Mass.